The recently announced Witcher series from Netflix and Platish Image shocked and surprised almost every fan of the book and game universe. Even though thousands of fans took online to voice their excitement, angst or both, very little is known about the series as of now. We know that Netflix and Platish Image's Tomasz Baginski can tell a good story, but seeing what an atrocity the 2001 Polish Witcher TV series was, the upcoming show also needs to have a strong and capable cast. Here's a rundown of actors and actresses who, we believe, will be the best suited to bring out beloved Witcher characters to the small screen. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Probably the hardest and most important task the producers at Netflix are facing right now is casting the leading role, the eponymous witcher, Geralt of Rivia. The TV version of the fabled monster slayer not only needs to invoke fear in his enemies, but also needs to have a more sensitive human side that the trial of grasses hasn't purged. Mads Mikkelsen is probably the first actor that comes up in online fan speculations, and that's quite understandable. We've seen the Danish actor play a good villain like in Casino Royale or the Hannibal series, but also we've seen him show a more vulnerable side like in the drama The Hunt. Mikkelsen's age and experience make him the perfect pick to portray a more mature version of Geralt, and his performance, as seen previously, can be a perfect blend of badass and introvert provided he has a good script to work with. Another choice to consider is Tom Hardy, who proved he can both handle straight-out blockbuster action leads like in Mad Max Fury Road and more emotional parts like in Locke, which was basically Tom Hardy driving and talking for two hours the movie. Even though the British star could do various interpretations of Geralt, it's hard not to imagine him as a younger, womanizing, more unexperienced version of the monster slayer for hire. Even though Hardy can be too menacing at times, like in The Dark Knight Rises or the recent television series Taboo, I believe he'll be able to show a more positive side of Geralt and infuse him with some welcome machismo. Last but not least, we have to mention Nikolai Costa Waldo. Even though his works aren't that well known, and most moviegoers know him as Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones, the star of the hit HBO show could infuse the on-screen Geralt with more bravado and charm than Mickelson and Hardy combined. And while he's the least popular of the three, he already has some experience with fantasy TV shows and could prove a good leading actor in such a series. We all know that Hollywood stars can be sometimes hard to work with. Ah, so it is about Triss. Yes, it's about our dear darling Triss. Geralt. I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. We still don't know which time from Geralt's life the show will focus on. No matter what the producers decide though, Yennefer from Vangerberg, the witch's on and off lover and one of the most powerful sorceresses in the world, will have to be included. Yennefer will need someone who can be at times as cold as dominant as they come, and seeing Eva Green's character in Sin City, a dame to kill for, or 300, Rise of an Empire, of which she was arguably the best part of, she would be our number one pick. Even though the sorceress is Geralt's greatest love, she is also probably the only person he is scared of. Yen also has a more sensitive side, sometimes, and seeing other performances from Green, it's hard not to visualize her as the female lead of the show. When considering the role of Yen, one would also have to consider Kate Beckinsale, whom goth kids have posted on the bedroom walls since the first Underworld movie. Even though Beckinsale seems to be better at action than drama, I believe that just like Green, she would be perfect in giving Yen the aura of a strong, independent heroine. Yet another good pick, if the producers can afford a star of such status, would be the Academy Award-winning Marion Cotillard. The French actress is unquestionably the most talented of the three, and could not only make Yennefer fierce, but also flawed and thus believable. Even when she's not in drama like Macbeth, she's often the best part of even the most mediocre movies, like it was in the case with Assassin's Creed. This one day I was feeling down in the muck, decided to lift my spirits by, well, getting a little drunk. Actually, replace a little with really. 
Despite the fact that the morally ambiguous world of The Witcher is full of strong, often in their own way heroic characters, the more passive supporting cast is also essential to the upcoming series. I'm talking of course about Dandelion, Geralt's hopelessly romantic, sung-singing brother-in-arms, at least when the battles involve talking. Geralt's trusty bard is in many ways a comedic character, and thus some would say he would require a comedian to portray him. I would personally suggest James Franco, as apart from making the mainstream audience laugh when he's on screen with Seth Rogen, he can also act like in 127 hours. Despite often getting Geralt in trouble, Dandelion is not a clown but a talented artist who's very popular with the ladies. Some fans online point to Shakespearean love's Joseph Fiennes as a good choice to expose the bard's complexity. The actor himself would also fit in perfectly with the TV series format, as the recent The Handmaid's Tale proves. Although, if we were living in a perfect world and the producers would have an infinite budget, I would cast Sherlock's Martin Freeman, who can portray various character types, and he's always a joy to watch when he's doing so. Freeman would be great co-starring next to Mickelson if the producers decide on an older cast, and thus becoming our own fantasy version of Watson. Sadly though, as fun as it sounds, such a casting choice seems highly unlikely and unaffordable. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. The last characters the producers must include is Triss Marigold, one of Geralt's greatest allies and love interests. Even though the redhead sorceress would play a supporting role, her relationship with Geralt and Ciri, who considers Triss to be her older sister of sorts, defines those characters. In contrast to Yennefer, Triss is a more open and warm person. The first actress that comes to my mind in that aspect is the likeable Amanda Seyfried, whom most of us fell in love with seeing her in musicals like Mamma Mia or Les Miserables. Apart from being more optimistic, Triss is much younger and delicate than Yen. Next to Seyfried, one could also think of Alicia Vikander of Ex Machina or The Danish Girl to be able to portray such a character on screen, and that wouldn't be the first video game character from Vikanda. She's currently working on the new Tomb Raider, playing the legendary Lara Croft herself. And since we had three actors for every role throughout the entire video, let's not ruin the trend here. Our last pick for Triss Merigold would have to be Kate Mara. Mara had the unfortunate of being part of the atrocious Fantastic Four reboot, but that didn't stop the talented actress from getting involved in smaller roles or the popular House of Cards series, where she's doing her best. No matter which time period the show will be set in, the producers will sooner or later have to introduce Siri. Predicting the casting of the younger version of Cirilla is quite difficult at this point, but seeing how Netflix can spot talent in unknown child actors, as was the case with the immensely successful Stranger Things, I have complete and utter faith in them. When thinking of casting the upcoming Netflix show, one must also keep in mind various supporting or episodic characters from The Witcher stories, as the mentioned main characters aren't the only ones that make Sapkowski's world so special. But that's a topic for a different day. Do you agree, disagree or have other ideas for the main cast of The Witcher or its supporting roles? Let us know in the comments section below and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and see you soon.